I just got done testing the weirdest AI SEO techniques I could find. Server logs, schema injections, and something Google literally begged us to do, but no one was taking it seriously, including yours truly. I didn't know if any of these tactics would work or just waste my sweet precious time. But when it was all said and done, we ended up with over 1400% increase in AI traffic and 164 newly ranking AI overview keywords. Oh yeah, and we doubled overall organic search traffic. Damn. In this video, I'll show you exactly what I did step by step so you can skip the guesswork and start showing up in Google AI overviews, ChatGPT, and every other AI that your little heart desires. You'll learn how to find out which of your pages AI bots are completely ignoring and how to fix it, a simple tweak that gets Google's AI to start citing your content, and the underused format that gets ChatGPT to make out with you. I'm Matt Diggity, I'm the director of the International SEO Agency, The Search Initiative, and today I'm gonna give you some outside the box AI SEO techniques. Let me take you back to about a year ago. If you subscribe to this channel, you may remember a case study where I tripled traffic on Google in nine months. It was for a client that sold pots, you know, for planting plants and stuff. Well, since then, their normal Google traffic kept growing, which I'm all for, but their AI traffic was farting along despite AI adoption kicking up. It was time to grow their AI traffic. Get it? Plants? Grow? Whatever. Anyways, real quick before I get started dropping nuggets, I wanted to let you know that my agency, The Search Initiative, is taking on a handful of clients right now for $1,000 off the first month if you promise to laugh at at least one joke in this video. Just head on over to thesearchinitiative.com, put your deets into the form, and we'll get right back to you. All right, this first tactic, I had to be freaking bribed to try, and that's AI log file analysis. I used to think log analysis was tedious, but today I'm gonna show you how to do it with ChatGPT. And just like anything else you do with ChatGPT, it's easy as first, what are log files? They're text files that keep a record of every time a user or a bot, including AI bots, visits your site. You get the IP address, the time of request, and status codes. Pretty cool, right? Nerd. Now, why are they important for AI SEO? By analyzing them, and I'll show you how to do that soon, first they help you ID which pages are loved and hated by the AI bots. Then you can make sure that your most important content is accessible to the AI. You can tell the AI to ignore content that it's wasting time on. You can detect slow loading pages that affect AI rankings and much more. But first, where do you find your log files? Most hosting services have a file manager with a folder that contains your log files, often named logs, access logs, or something like that. Just download the thing. Now open ChatGPT, upload the file, and give it this prompt, which you'll find in the description. I've attached log files from my website server. Please analyze the logs focusing on Googlebot and AI crawlers such as GPTBot, which is ChatGPT's, CloudBot, and blah, blah, blah. Identify all hits from user agents containing any of the following keywords, Google, GPTBot, yada, yada. Once you've analyzed this, I will ask you to perform a series of tasks. They'll give you a summary like this, which shows the hit rate from each AI bot. Nice. Now enter this prompt. Provide a list of the 10 pages that receive the fewest hits from AI bots and Google and create a visual diagram. This will allow you to ID which important pages aren't getting crawled by AI and Google. How to fix? Our client had a giga important sales page on their site that was hardly getting crawled. After investigation, we found that there was only one internal link going to this page. So we made more internal links from pages that were getting crawled a lot. Problem solved. We found those highly crawled pages with this prompt. Provide a list of the 10 pages that receive the most hits and create a visual diagram. These are the pages that AI has a boner for. Yes, use them to link to important pages like we just did, but also make AI love them even more by expanding them with related subtopics. And don't forget to add AI-friendly schema, which we'll get to later. Next, ChatGPT, highlight any crawl errors from these bots and flag anything that looks unusual or worth fixing. Anytime there's a crawl error, you wanna fix it. In this bottom summary, ChatGPT even tells you how to fix them by restoring or 301 redirecting. And just for good measure, the next log file prompt is provide any additional insights or patterns you observe, such as bots missing key commercial pages, pages being crawled unexpectedly often, and sudden spikes in crawl activity. You'll get a nice set of AI-driven insights like fixing content quality, speeding up a page, and more. Next up, have you ever read this Google Search Central post on how to make sure your content does well in AI? Here's where Google basically gives away the secret to getting cited by AI. There's a section here on making sure that your structured data, also known as schema, matches your visible content. What? 
Well, despite their sophisticated algorithms, search engines need help when reading and identifying content. Why? Well, unlike you humans with your fancy eyeballs, search engines lack the visual and intuitive capabilities to interpret content. While you can understand that this how to tell if your cat is trying to kill you article is satirical, a bot probably thinks it's a genuine pet behavior guide. This is where schema markup comes into play. Schema is code that you put in your article's HTML where you can tell the bots, yo, let me make life easy for you. My article is a satire piece. Now you make life easy for me and cite my damn content, bro. Schema helps improve the AI's understanding of what your content is exactly about. When it can clearly identify the type of content, like an article, product, event, or FAQ, it's more likely to show it for the right queries. Here's what it looks like for a general blog article. Notice how there's space to input the author of the article, the organization, date published, and so forth. We put article schema on a page on a customer's site. Not saying this is the only reason, but it shows up in 26 AI overviews, up from five. And the AI overviews are indeed linking to the site and pulling the author name from the schema. If you have a how-to page, like how to tell if your cat is gonna kill you, your schema is gonna look like this. Notice how there's little places for you to write the unique steps of each how-to step. And sorry it's blurred, our client prefers confidentiality, but here's AI overviews citing each step by step and giving them a link. Now there's a billion types of schema for a billion types of content. Seriously, don't memorize that shit. Waste of brain space. Use ChatGPT to generate the schema for you. For example, if you had an FAQ page you'd prompt, ChatGPT, please generate, always say please, JSON-LD FAQ page schema for my webpage. Below is the information for each question and answer. FAQ content, question one, answer one, question two, answer two, so forth. And bam, here's your AI-friendly FAQ page schema markup. Now simply place the markup inside a script tag within the head section of your web page. Most people just use plugins. Next, let's go back to the Google post on AI success tactics and find the section called Go Beyond Text for Multimodal Success. When you translate this from nerd to English, it basically just means that if your content includes high quality images and video, then you're more likely to show up in AI. How much more likely? It's hard to say, but you see this all the time. Here's an example of ChatGPT referencing both images and text for how to tie a Windsor knot from the same website. Graphics and video give AI more to work with, so it's more likely to reference you. And even if your textual content isn't used, it's still possible that they'll use your images, videos, and don't forget tables. LLMs love structure, so content that's in tables gets gobbled up. Here's some more multimodal tactics. Use descriptive alt text. Describe the image's actual content and don't stuff keywords. Use clear file names that actually represent the image. Avoid images of tables and use HTML instead and add transcripts to your video posts. Here's a post on how to introduce new cats. The video is up here, the transcript is down here, which includes some weird ass content about spreading the new cat scent around the home. And sure enough, here's the AI overview talking about stinking up your house with new cat fragrance and a link to the article. Now, what was the result of all this AI SEO effort? AI traffic grew by 1400%, the site now appears in 164 AI overviews, and overall organic traffic has doubled. If you'd like us to take a look at your SEO, head on over to thesearchinitiative.com and use the form at the bottom to reach out. We'd be happy to take a look at your site and let you know what we can do for you. $1,000 off your first month until the end of the month.